if you were intubating and your SpO2 was like down to like, let's just say it got to like 90% and you were already in the airway and you could see the cords and all you had to do is drop the bougie in, would you still pull out and reoxygenate? Or would you go through with that intubation? If you could already see the cords, what would you say? How fast did they drop? Where did they start? And I, it's a relative because yeah, if they're going down really slow, or maybe I, maybe they were you know at ninety one or ninety two or ninety three, and now they're finally at ninety. And it was really slow. That's one thing. But if they were at a hundred percent, and they dropped really fast to ninety, I'd be thinking, man, the actual saturation is probably eighty. And if I take any longer, this patient's going to be screwed. So I don't know if you're right there at the core. Are you talking about like you got the tube in hand and you see the cords? Yep. You see the, you see the bougie. Maybe this was a little bit more, uh, we'll say it was a difficult airway. You're having a hard time getting it and you look and they're like, all right, SPO2 is 90% and you got, you can see the cords, you got the bougie and we'll say that you're, I don't know, a minute or so into it. And they, you started off at 96, 97% and now you're at 90%. And you can actually see the cords. Are you going to go through with it, or are you going to say, "Let's back out and let's uh, let's uh, oxygenate," knowing about the pulse ox lag? You are probably on the edge. Because here's the thing: just because you have that, two, it's this is that's a really tough question. Because initially, I want to say I'm just going to put that tube in because they're not that bad. But just knowing that they're a difficult airway visualizing it is only part of the battle. The next part of the battle is going to be placing that tube, playing with the bougie, trying to get it up into the airway. Maybe I hit the anterior trachea. Then I've got to troubleshoot the tube. Then I have to actually, you know, advance it. Somebody's got to pull it out. Somebody's got to inflate it. And then there's going to be a problem. You know, somebody misplaced the connector. And then, you know, it's just, it's going to be one thing after another. So it's easy to think like, let's just toss that tube in. But if if they're that sick and it was a really difficult airway, I gotta imagine you have to pull out at that point. Now, in the heat of the moment, is would I make the same decision? <laughs> I don't know because I'm I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about every possible angle while it's not in front of me. I don't know what I would do in real life, but like right now, while I'm not doing that skill logically, I would say in that patient pull out because a lot of the there's still a lot of game to play in that airway if you haven't even tried to pass the tube yet. Yeah, I'm in the same camp. And like you said, when you're in the moment and you're like, oh, my God, I can finally see the cords that may be a little bit different because you're like, I don't want to have to do that again. But um, Paul Sox lag, if you're at 90 percent on there, you're, you're you're down into the 80s. We know we're at that mm -hmm. tipping point of the roller coaster where you're going to start going down fast. And, you know, mm -hmm. you're still prone to human error. Maybe you thought it was the cords, but it isn't. It's something else. And yeah. now you're really setting yourself up for failure. So so me, I'm going to pull out. I mean, I, I love first pass success. I think that's great. But if it's at the risk of hypoxia, then, psh, you know, like pull it out. I'm going to reoxygenate them and then do it again. Um, that's my mental models. I'm, I'm, I just don't I, I think it's probably just from talking to Jeff Jarvis so much like first pass success is a, is great. We know a lot of things happen uh, but like complications after that first intubation if you don't get it. Um, but. You, you can't risk hypoxia and, you know, all yep. the, the badness that comes along with prolonging that first attempt. And it's all relating directly back to that, that oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve. So I, I 100% agree with that.